So, Joe, as this fighter makes his way to the octagon, let's start with the kicking technique because it is just outstanding. He doesn't telegraph a thing. And I think what really jumps out of the film room for me is his ability to get his foot off the canvas to the target so quickly. A lot of guys just don't even see it coming. And he doesn't discriminate. He'll attack that lead leg. He'll go to the body. Beautiful head kick upstairs as well. The technique is really what sets up everything to this guy's game. And his opponent certainly wary of what's coming back with those kicks tonight. So as this guy makes the walk, there's just something terrifying about guys with crazy hand speed. This guy certainly has it. Good fighters certainly know that at times they can beat speed with timing and precision, but in terms of those first exchanges, you gotta get a guy's timing down, and when it comes to this guy, that is easier said than done. This guy has the ability to take shots that would put other fighters out, absorb the punishment, and just with sheer toughness, come back from the brink of defeat and achieve victory. Now our tale of the tape for this Bantamweight scrap. Three years apart, with similar height and some differences in reach. And now for the particulars, here's Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, this fight is three rounds in the UFC Bantamweight division. Make sure you see first, fighting at the corner. This man is a kickboxer, making his professional debut here tonight. He stands five feet eight inches tall, weighing in at 135 pounds. And now here's his opponent, fighting out of the red corner. This man is a Muay Thai kickboxer and jiu-jitsu fighter, making his professional debut here tonight. He stands five feet six inches tall, weighing in at 133 pounds. Fighting out of the Goya, Japan, Bo Crusher. And when the action begins, our referee in charge of the octagon is Mario Yamasaki. Mario Yamasaki, third man in the Let's octagon go, 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 for this ready? one. You ready? Let's go, come on! Connects with the punch. He really missed with that right hand. And he che he's checking every single one of those. But that punch, no good. Quick jab. Tagged him. Well, he got cracked to the head there, Joe. He's gonna have to change things up here with his footwork, with his tempo. He continues to be vulnerable to that strike coming back. Got to get his head off the center line. Punch coming, it's blocked. And he eats a right hand there. Oh, nice slip to avoid that left, Joe. Whenever you see a fighter's legs stiffen up like that, that's not a good sign. Working the inside of that lead leg. Head off the center line, slips the punch. Some nice deception there as he lands the hook. Oh, he blocked that offense, Joe. Connects with the punch there. Oh, and down. Posture's up. He's doing a great job of moving and transitioning here on the ground. Big shot from the bottom. Under two minutes now to go in round one. with conviction to the body. Look at that, right to the temple. He lands the head kick. Hard one to the body. He 
Beautiful right hand over the top. Lands a punch. Nicely done to avoid the clinch. Man, Joe, he continues to leave that head open. His opponent's got to be salivating at this point in time. That jab has been there all night. You've got to get that head off the center line. Just misses with the straight right. Look at this. Fifteen seconds to go. Ooh, good combo there. Man, that cut is just getting worse by the minute. Rated R tonight. Round two is next. Hey, give me some more. That is a bad cut, and I need you to start taking it. Here we see a perfectly timed kick. Connects flush. Here's a powerful leg kick. Here's a perfectly placed leg kick. Thank you very much, Carly Baker. So second round getting underway here. Competitive first round, Joe. Not necessarily a round of the year per se, but high level action on both sides. Both fighters had their moments. Your thoughts on what we saw over the first five minutes. Well, the offense has been there. He is landing some good shots, but not really stringing them together and putting combinations on his opponent. He's got to mix up his strikes, change his tempo a little bit, and try to get his opponent out of there by landing more than just one strike at a time. Look at that nasty jab. Nice inside leg kick. Very nice. Oh, he missed that kick. Oh, that's a stiff jab there, and it again lands exactly at the intended target. And defensively, Joe, his approach here is leaving a lot to be desired. He's got to figure out a way to move that head and get it off of that center line. Just over three minutes to go now. Nice. Oh, there's a good shot from the bottom. All right, under three minutes now to go in round two. He's in half guard. Full guard now. We have crossed the midpoint of this one. Excellent movement here on the ground. And he lands a hammer fist. He's getting off some very nice ground and pound here. There are more hammer fists. He's taking some big shots on the bottom. That's and it. He's out. Do. He's out. Wow. To do that to such a durable guy and to do it with such composure, the way he recognized he had him hurt, relaxed, kept his rhythm, and just dropped bombs, and then boom. Yeah, Joe, that was some throwback-style ground and pound. He was trying to pound his opponent's head through the damn canvas. He wasn't looking to score there. He was looking to land big shots and get his opponent out of there. Well, mission accomplished on that front. This is one of the bigger knockout victories of his career. And there he is after a massive knockout here tonight. Near-perfect execution and a seminal moment for him here in the Octagon tonight. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Mario Yamasaki has called a stop to this contest at three minutes, four seconds of round number two. To play the winner by no Assassin. So there he is, the man of the moment. Certainly maximized the showcase here tonight, Joey. Gets a big win by way of the knockout. Certainly kept the judges out of it here tonight. Perhaps some bonus money is coming his way, but there will be no wiping the smile off of his face tonight. He will party deep into the night with his friends, his family. A huge knockout turned in by that man here tonight, and he has set himself up.